Hey, what's up everybody? Torian with TJD Graphics and I'm back with another video. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for viewing and uh, watching. If you've supported me uh, on any of my videos, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you're a subscriber, keep subscribing. I'm going to keep bringing you content uh, of an artistic nature and anything else I can help out with um, that you can, get, uh, you can get some value out of. And this video is something that's near and dear to my heart. Uh, it's very personal. And the title of this video is the top reasons why all artists need a website, essential tips for success. And the reason why I wanted to create this video is because I still think this is something that's very important that a lot of artists tend to overlook uh, due to the fact that we have social media sites that you can post and you can promote your art on and people for whatever reason i know i know a lot of it tends to be uh money reasons you know you don't have the money to uh build your own website but you can't you can't depend on these social media sites to always have your best interest at heart because it's all about their platform it's them promoting their platform they're going to let you use their platform to promote and sell your art but you're beholden to them at that point because you're on there for free you know unless you maybe have some type of deal with them or you got an affiliate program but even then you can't rely on that because what if for some reason your your algorithm uh gets messed up or something happens and they decide to uh to shut down your your page or your channel or whatever and that's the only way you're promoting your art and you're selling your art and you're doing you're doing really great but this website the social media site decides for whatever reason they didn't like this video they didn't like this content and they shut your site down and you have no say over that you're beholden to them because they're in control they're the gatekeeper and you want to try to alleviate as much of that as possible you want to be in control of your content you want to be in control of your videos you want to be in control of your your sales okay and you want to be able to promote your art sell your art through your own website and 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 be able to control that that's what it's all about you know i and and, and i've i've seen the stories i thought people really didn't do it as much as as they used to say they that i would read articles about but people are still relying on facebook uh instagram a lot um TikTok is the big one and i think there's some other ones i i mainly uh and youtube I, I mainly have um youtube instagram and tiktok those are the sites i'll you know post my artwork on and but i don't have any i don't have anything that's just about trying to promote and sell on through my through my instagram page through my facebook page and through my youtube channel i have my own separate website dedicated to me tjd graphics and my artwork promoting and selling my artwork and that's I, that I think is essential for 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 any artist. Um, and again, I know the biggest reason for a lot of people doing that is they they don't have the the the, the money to be able to you know set up and maintain their site. But there are a lot of cheap I don't want to say cheap um, a lot of uh, sites that you can set up a simple simple website. You don't have to do anything elaborate. This is a this is the thing that was was pushed on us years ago. When people really started to navigate uh, the web and websites, they thought they had to go out here and they thought they had to build this big elaborate website. And I was one of those people too. But once I started, because I basically I maintain my website, I do all the I do all the editing, all the all the uh, copyright, all the all the um, updates. I do all of that. I maintain my website myself. I've been doing that for since since day one. I've never had anybody else do it because. I want to be able to even with that i like the control of being able to go in there and change things around whenever i want to upload photos whenever i want to so i learned how to uh maintain my own website for my my art and my businesses whenever or whatever i'm doing so um that's been a big uh plus for me to always have that control because i pay them they provide the service to me and that's how it works I'm not getting it for free, so I'm not beholden to them to take care of the updates for me and do this. And I'm, I'm at their mercy uh, for for uh, for them at, the, at their whim to do what they want. Like you, like I would be if I just relied on Instagram, because everything's about the algorithm. Again, if you're not in that algorithm, if something that algorithm changes, 
you're screwed and you don't want to do that you want to take you want to have as much control as possible so i think i've rambled on enough about this and um what i want to do now is i want to actually get into uh uh the, the actual video i'm going to show you some points and then i'm going to actually use my website as an example and i'm going to walk you through my website and show you how my, how i have my website set up because it's pretty much uh, how my PowerPoint presentation is that I'm going to show you uh, in a minute. It, it, it falls into the same the same uh, layout that um, I use for my website. So I'm going to at this point, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to go into the PowerPoint presentation and we're going to do that and let's do it. These are the top reasons why artists need their own website. Essential tips for success. Reasons control slash ownership. Don't rely on social media websites, i.e. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, etc. to promote and sell your artwork. Number two, shows you're serious about your artwork. You're willing to spend money to invest in your talent and yourself. Number three, your artwork is the main focus. No one has to search another website to find you or your artwork. Uh, going back up to control and ownership. So basically this is self-explanatory. You want to control uh, the content that you have available to people. You want to be in control of what people see. You want to be in control if you uh, want to sell or promote your artwork. You want ownership over that. You don't have any ownership or control with uh, social media sites that I know of. You know, if Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, they all decide they want to uh, shut your page down for whatever reason. Um, or enforce some type of regulation on you, they can do that. It's their platform. That's, you know, they're in charge. They're the gatekeeper. Uh, so you have to be beholden to their rules. So if you control your own website, you don't have to worry about that. You, you if you're in, if, if, if you have ownership over the content that you put on there, you can put it, you can put up whatever you want. You can pull, you can pull the, uh, the content off of uh, your own website. Uh, shows you're serious about your art. Um, sometimes that old saying that uh, put money, put your money where your mouth is, that applies to this. You know, if you're willing to put your own money up, that means you're willing to invest in yourself. You're willing to put your money behind yourself and your artwork, and that's what this one is all about. Spend the money to invest in your in your talent and yourself. Spend that money to get that website up there. I know it's hard. I know you know these are tough times, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You know, you, you, like again, you want as much control and you want as much say so over what you do, and you you know got to spend the money. Um, your artwork is the main focus. This one is a, a, a huge one. You know, if you're on social media sites, you're competing uh, with other artists to get people's attention. There's thousands of and thousands of artists on Facebook and Instagram. We see it all the time. If you're an artist, it, it, you'll start seeing other artists going to your feed. Um, when I'm on Instagram, I'm constantly getting other artists. And as we know, as artists, you know, we, we, we go through our insecurity levels, go up and down, seeing all these different people posting their art. And when you have your own dedicated website, your artwork and you, you're the main focus. If a person comes there, it's all about you. It's not about you and 50 million other artists that are showing up in, in the feed that they're seeing. It's all about you. And that way, if they're clicking onto your website, obviously they want to see your art and they want to know about you. So simple website layout, the basics. These for me are the basis, are the basics for uh, an artist's website. Um, you have your home page. This is the first page that's seen when the site is opened. Uh, the about page. Who are who you are? What kind of artwork do you make? How do you, how you got started as an artist? Your inspirations. All that information will be uh, on your about page. Gallery. Um, pictures of your artwork. This is where you're gonna have examples of whatever you do. Whether you make jewelry, you you make a. Uh, poster prints you make furniture you, you paint this is where you're gonna have uh, pictures of that or go in your gallery your buy page this connects to an online store ie Etsy Shopify eBay etc anything that's an online platform that uh, is a fulfillment um, that's where uh, your buy page will be linked to if you do that um, if you have a buy page or if you need one and last but not least we have a contact page how to contact with you how, how to connect with you via email this is where a person is going to put their email and their name and whatever else information in and that's going to that's going to send a notification to you you're going to get that information and you're going to go from there on what whatever uh, it is they contacted you for okay so again we have home page about page gallery by page contact page 
okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my uh, browser with my website I'm gonna show you we're gonna walk through all of these uh, I'm gonna use my website as, as an example for you all right so here we have my website TJD graphics um, here is my navigation bar I have home by uh, posters contact me about me and gallery now I have the five essentials that I talked about uh, previously just now I have home by contact about gallery the only thing different about this is I have a sixth one which is a posters uh, navigation button and I'll, I'll walk you through that page uh, when we get to going through the pages but for now I'm gonna scroll through the home page here's the title of the page the art and illustration of Tony Devin senior I have a contact button which should take you directly to my contact page I have my phone number I have art that you can see directly um, a, a piece of art that I've done um, again, art and illustration of Tony Devin Sr. A little bit about uh, what the website's about right here. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. Um, I have a video that you click on. It'll link you directly to my uh, YouTube, my YouTube channel, and you can see this video plus uh, all the other ones. Um, then I have my social media uh, links right here. I have my Instagram, my uh, TikTok, and my YouTube links. Another uh, navigation bar down here. Um, scroll back up here. Let's go to the buy page, click on my buy page, and this is going to take you to my Shopify store. This uh, is, a, is a direct link to my Shopify store. So if you wanna buy um, anything for my Shopify store, it's gonna be through here. So this is the home page for this. Um, if you click on the catalog, you wanna buy a product. These are all t-shirts, uh, uh, male female t-shirts that you can get with my artwork on there it's all my artwork you want to place an order you click on the order um, and what that would do is that would send a notification to Shopify and they would fulfill they would physically fulfill this order they would uh, print the tea package the tea and mail it out to you I'd get a percentage of that sale and that's how that works um, going back to the home page now here uh, on the posters page this is going to take you to uh, artwork that I fulfill I physically fulfill myself so on this page I just have posters and I have eight and a half by eleven prints and the posters I have are the 18 by 24 poster prints of artwork that I've done if you want to buy anything on this page you would click on it I'd get a notification I would package it up I'd get it ready to mail out and I would feel I would physically fulfill the order for you that would come through me and then I would get uh, uh, the majority of the sale for that okay and that's the only difference I have as far as the navigation that I talked about uh, earlier so this is my physical product buy page um, let's go to my contact me page so this is me this is contact uh, how you want to make contact with me um, questions or comments about me or my artwork email me so here we have uh, an email form um, you have to put your name in and you have to put your email address anything else is you don't have to so at least I'll have your name and your email um, so uh, expected completion date so say for instance you want me to do a print for you uh, uh, an eight and a half by eleven or no you want me to do an original sketch of a, of a character of your favorite character um, you would give me some type of completion date like say for instance you wanted it by uh, within the next two weeks you give me a date and then right here you would describe what you want me to do for you and um, oh I'm sorry actually name email and describe your project are the essential things you have to put in there uh, when it comes to contact okay once you put that inf information in there you hit send it sends me a notification email and I go from there um, go to my about me page so here it's all about me it's meet the artist uh, it's just info about who I am what I do how I can help you out if any way I can help you find out more you click on this it probably takes you directly to my contact page if I'm not mistaken here I have my social media links I have another video that I put at the bottom of the page um, and last but not least I'll take you to my gallery page here I just have my artwork here are some pics of my drawings um, find out more you click on that it should take you to my contact page um, here what you do here you just click on and in your gallery page for your website you do the same thing you'd have some uh, I only have six images here you can have as many as you'd want on yours um, however you want to set it up uh, you wouldn't necessarily have to do it in the same format as me they have all these different alternatives you can use for me I just got like to keep it short and simple so you click on an image just to take you directly to that image uh, full view um, you click on uh, this would take you to the next image the next image 
uh, Michael Myers. Then we have uh, uh, my own character design right there. And we have a picture of Mr. Spock. Um, and those are the six images that I have there that's in my gallery. Again, you can include how many images you want in your own gallery, it's up to you. Um, going back to my homepage. So yeah, that's how my uh, website is set up for me. This is pretty much how I try to keep my website. I don't try to have too many uh, navigation or, or, or pages in my navigation. It's just too clunky for people sometimes. Sometimes people just like to go in, click, 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 and that's it. You have to keep that in mind with people you wanna keep it. Uh, I'm a very meat and potatoes person. You'll hear me say that um, a lot as I try to keep things short and simple for people. You come here, you see what it is, you click, you go, okay? Um, let's go back to the PowerPoint. Okay, so getting back to the reasons, uh, the reasons why as an artist you want to have your own website, control slash ownership. Um, don't rely on social media uh, websites to promote and sell your artwork. Uh, number two, shows you're serious about your art. You're willing to spend your own money to invest in your talent and yourself. Uh, number three, your artwork is the main focus. No one has to search another website to find you or your artwork, very simple. So that's it for this video. Uh, the top reasons why all artists need a website, essential tips for success. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, questions, comments, hit me up in the comment section. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't. Um, let me know what you thought about the video. Uh, until the next video, I will see you then. I'm Torian, TJD Graphics. I'm out, bye.